Psychological pressures, especially ones we're not conscious of, often make it difficult for us to be as good as we would like to be. One of the most significant is the self-serving bias. The tendency we have to gather information, process information, and even remember information in such a manner as to advance our self-interest and support our pre-existing views. Because of this bias, even when people try their hardest to be fair and impartial, Say, what? their judgments are inevitably shaded by their own self-interest, <laughs> often in ways that seem indefensible to others. Give me a break. As a journalism major, uh, I've, you know, written articles before and uh, I definitely, you know, sometimes I feel very strongly about an issue that I'm writing about and I look for sources that kind of reinforce my own opinion. The pleasure centers in our brains light up when we are told that our beliefs are correct or that a conclusion that advances our self-interest is accurate. Therefore, it's not surprising that people with conservative political beliefs are more likely to watch Fox News, while liberals are more likely to watch MSNBC. Not only does the self-serving bias affect the information that we seek out, it also affects how we process that information. Yes. Yes. Thus, supporters of competing political candidates who watch the same debate each tend to conclude that their guy won. As a filmmaker, sometimes you have a cut of your movie that's not complete yet and you're seeking feedback from other people. If they give you feedback that doesn't go with that or uh, is the opposite of what you're expecting them to say, it's easy to be like, oh, well, I asked the wrong people. The self-serving bias even affects how we remember information. See. Studies show that we are more likely to recall evidence that supports our point of view than evidence that opposes it. Because of the self-serving bias, studies show that when scientists review articles, they will tend to conclude that those supporting their pre-existing point of view are of higher quality than those opposing their point of view. I had an assignment just the past semester that was a debate. I read our side of the argument. And so it's very easy to be like, this is great. Like, this is everything that I've been looking for. And then the failure to read the other side, I mean, can be a really big problem. An accountant industry official testified before the SEC saying, we are professionals that follow our code of ethics and practice by the highest moral standards. We would never be influenced by our own personal financial well-being. This testimony reflected an embarrassing ignorance of the impact of self-interest upon all humans' decision-making. <laughs> Inevitably, our self-interest clouds our ethical judgment, even in the most well-intentioned people. The more subjective the judgment, the less certain the facts, and the more that's at stake, the more influential the self-serving bias is likely to be. <laughs> Don't make the same mistake. Guard against the self-serving bias. If everyone's looking out for their own individual um, effects and what they're doing, they're not gonna look out for collectively what they could do as a whole and what to move society forward. It might be the difference between having a discussion with someone and having an argument with someone. And I think having an argument is about winning and proving that your opinion is correct. And you just got to be more objective and be open to other people's ideas and thoughts. If you can understand their viewpoint, I think we'll all be in a better place and you've started to diminish the effects of the self-serving bias.